Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Emu Cards. Congratulations to Steph Curry for um, destroying Ray Allen's record. Uh, just crazy amount of time, uh, less shots, uh, and Steph, Steph has a long way to go on his way to win an MVP unless he gets injured. Um, and great credit to him. Uh, I, I've said it before, say it again, just said it uh, earlier is that Ray Allen is my all-time favorite player in any sports. Uh, it's Ray Allen 1, Steve McNair 2. Uh, I remember the first time that I ever saw Ray Allen took a, a jumper when he was with UConn, and I thought it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Um, and I just knew that I, had I had to collect him. And then, of course, he did the movie He Got Game, which kind of just cemented that love. Uh, and then, you know... It's weird because it's so commonplace now is that, I, I mean, I grew up a diehard Knicks fan. That's why, I mean, sports can be so poetic, right? Uh, Ray Allen is my favorite player. I'm a diehard Knicks fan. Knicks are struggling. And Steph Curry's in the break, my all-time favorite player's record. Um, and, and while he's probably most likely going to beat my, my favorite team. Actually, the Knicks are my favorite team that I cheer for at all over any sports. Basketball is my favorite sport. Um, so, uh, yeah, you know, sports can be poetic, literally, uh, happening all in one same swoop, but, uh, something that Ray Allen probably will always have on Steph is that I don't think Steph has it in him to make, um, one of the biggest shots in, in the finals, you know, this is actually the year that Ray Allen did it in the Panini Prism card, um, Ray Allen, like, you know, people think about Ray Allen's career, when he was with uh, Boston, because that's when he got highlighted, especially the shot in game six of the finals of, of what was that, the uh, 2000, 2012 finals, right? Uh, no, 2000, 2013, because he lost in 11 to Dallas, and then they beat OKC in 2012, and then in 2013 is when they beat, um, they beat the Spurs. So anyway, um, yeah, never, ne never hit a bigger shot, but like people know him from that and people need to go back, especially when he was with Seattle because, uh, he could create off the dribble. He used to dunk over people, ask Tracy, Tracy McGrady, literally dunked over him in a playoff game, uh, dunked over like Nasha Nesterovich in, that was a 2005 uh, conference semifinals, uh, I believe. Yeah, I believe that was game four when he did it. That was, that was at Key Arena, which uh, shout out to Seattle. Seattle desperately needs a team. And um, maybe that could help Zion Williamson's weight, uh, weight problem. So just show my Ray Allen collection and that. Uh, just going to savor the moment. And, um, I, and I actually wish, I actually think Ray could have stay play longer people still say that he can still play keep it in great shape i still don't think he's actually had a drink of alcohol he's actually a great role model um very similar to i actually would compare ray allen to kind of marvin harrison of the nfl is that you look over his overall numbers and completely underrated keeps himself quiet at works hard uh good family man good dude and um yeah, just like when you look at their overall career, you kind of are, are astonished. But anyway, uh, congratulations, congratulations again to Stephen Curry because best teammate after Tim Duncan and this generation, especially from the 2000s. And uh, just seems like a fun dude to play with and fun, fun guy to be around. So if, if Ray Allen's record was to fall, I have no problem it being um, to, to him. So I hope all is well, take care, and peace out.